I remember him saying it's deja vu all over again. Mm -hmm. that one of his <laughs> famous ones. Or <laughs> just, he was a character. He, he really was. He really was. <laughs> Nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. <laughs> There's a good one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's going on out there with the pollen count. Now, it is officially fall, and one of the facts of life of fall season, of course, is the pollen count, which is in the medium-high category today. It is ragweed and grass pollen. Now, over the next couple of days, it's going to be continuing in that medium-high category, but backing off a little bit now in the forecast for the weekend in response to at least a few scattered showers out there for the weekend. No scattered showers out there today, a few scattered clouds, and it has been a warm first afternoon of fall. 85 degrees in Nashville now. That's the uh, highest temperature so far in the hourly readings. 53 degrees this morning's low. So again, with the dry air, still some pleasantly cool temperatures overnight. Tonight, not quite as cool, but still pretty good. Clarksville, a few scattered clouds out there. You got 83 degrees now after a high of 84. Gallatin, 85 degrees, and your high has been 87. Warming up in Gallatin. Downtown here at News Channel 5, we got 85 and a 28% relative humidity. The air is very dry. 86 our high downtown so far. 85 up in Bowling Green. It's 83 in McMinnville. A little cooler in Cookville and Crossville. 81, same thing in Murray, Kentucky. 81 degrees, and that sensor in Murfreesboro coming in with 90 degrees. 90 also back down in Little Rock. Moisture's beginning to increase a bit. Our dew point is up just a little from yesterday, but you see just to our south, dew points in the low 60s again, and forecast models taking our dew point into the mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. And by the time we get to Friday, we're looking at dew points in the mid 60s again as more humidity moves in. But it is bone dry out there this afternoon, mainly clear skies across all of Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Got a low pressure center here off the Florida East Coast that is gradually going to be working its way northwestward and it's going to get close enough to us that we will see a few showers. This system meanwhile is going to kind of uh, just dissipate as it moves off to the northeast and uh, it's going to mainly be this moisture coming in from the Atlantic that will be influencing our weather. You can see that on exact track. It is dry tonight and at seven o'clock in the morning just a few clouds out there during the course of the day tomorrow there will be enough moisture to call it partly cloudy. Then here we go at 11 o'clock Thursday evening. We begin to see some scattered showers work in. This is at 7 o'clock on Friday and a few scattered showers at 2 o'clock on Friday afternoon. And there could be a stray thunder shower out there. 7 o'clock in the morning, a few clouds and 61 degrees. Real sky showing a little bit more cloud cover tomorrow at uh, in the afternoon. 81 degrees at noon and partly cloudy skies at 3 o'clock and 86 degrees. So we'll give you a dry day tomorrow tomorrow with a high of 86, then put in that 30% chance of scattered showers and, and maybe a storm on Friday and Saturday. About a 20% chance on Sunday. Right now, the forecast for next week, a little indeterminate depending on what happens with a low pressure center down over the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But right now, we'll leave at least small rain chances in. Temperatures mainly in the low 80s for the next seven days. Now,